sort of encapsulate what this feels like? I mean, it's this is what the seniors one hadn't done and wanted to do. Uh, it's a great feeling, and uh, it really doesn't feel real right now. If anything, it's just it feels like uh, it didn't happen. Really, it feels like we got a, a game to play, but. For right now, I know I'm going to enjoy it. I'll, it'll probably hit me tomorrow and, or something. I don't know. Why, why do you think you're experiencing that? I don't know. I really don't know. Because I've never had Paul in my possession before, mm -hmm. probably. Mm -hmm. Was this a little harder than you thought it would be today? Uh, no. I knew Michigan State was going to give up a great fight and they wouldn't quit no matter what. Because uh, a lot of teams would, would have gave up after the half, after we got that uh, field goal, but they came out and stuck it through. I mean, I expected everything. I expected nothing less from them. You, you talk about having a, a unique feeling. Guys during the week all kind of said, it's another game. Yeah. Is In hindsight, now that it's over, did that hold true? I mean, we, it's over now. we got to move past it. You just got to look at it as a, a game. It happened. It's in the past now. And through the course of the week, was that was that you guys telling us that, or was that true, that it was just another game? Just another game can't get high over the fact that we're playing Michigan State. we got to come to every, every game the same, same intensity. Yards were hard to come by in the second half. What was different between the first half and the second? Uh, I don't know. I think they started bringing a little bit more pressures. Uh, I really don't think I... I, don't, I think I only ran the ball twice in the second half or something like that. But, I mean, uh, they just seemed like they were filling gaps a little bit faster and bringing the pressure. You talked last weekend about last year's game still boiling. Does today's win kind of wash that away a bit? Oh, yeah. Uh, but, again, it still hasn't – I'm still thinking it didn't happen, so it'll probably <laughs> hit me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. if They'd lost five games in a row coming in. Did you know that they were probably a better team than their record indicated? Oh, yeah, for sure. And I knew that we were going to get our, their best, like, for sure their best. And they're a great team, and they came out to compete today. How chippy they, was it? I mean, Mason and Malik were going at it quite a bit. I mean, he was sort of going after everybody on the offense. It was kind of funny. You know, just uh, players being players, you know. You're going to hear it, have people talk no matter what. You just got to kind of ignore it, really. They talk to you? <laughs> Your thoughts on how Wilton kept his composure and played in that environment? You know, for Wilton's first time being in there, I'm really impressed with what happened. He, he showed up, did a great job, and the offensive line and the running backs and fullbacks protected him pretty well. And he, he, did a, he did a great job getting the ball to the receivers today. A lot of Michigan fans in that stadium. Could you hear him? Oh, yeah, I heard him. <laughs> All right, go Blue. How key was that first drive for you guys after they came out and scored? On their first drive? Uh, you know, we knew they came to play, so like we had to hit them right in the back of the mouth with the same intensity, same way that we approach everything. And, and, you know, we went five, I think five, five drives straight just scoring, so I mean, we just had to keep it going, you know? It seemed like, thank you. 